Don't forget to use back to backs code whenever making a purchase on Tactical Marketplace. As a gesture of gratitude, an extra 2 to 10,000 gold will be sent back to you by the end of the month. Send a confirmation on Discord. Thank you ahead of time. Max Klaus is quite the menace, and I was completely wrong about him. He may embody more of a syndrome than Syndrome himself. His talents grant him the ability to excel in short range combat. How, you may ask? Well, he possesses talents that can nullify melee attacks and reduce close-range shooting damage. With the aid of negative melee damage talents and the 10th talent that decreases up close damage by 40%, enemies like Sharon cannot approach for a melee strike or use their XL20 against you. As I have mentioned in my other videos, these newly reworked operator talents have never felt more immersive than they do with Syndrome and Klaus. I rearranged the talents upon noticing the two fire rates, aiming to transform into a long-range shooter with the AW sniper rifle. The idea behind this strategy was to allow me to play a ranged game, and then have a shield ready for anyone who dared to come too close. Unfortunately, no matter how hard I tried to make Klaus a ranged player, it just didn't seem to work well. Syndrome had better success with the AW sniper rifle compared to Klaus. Even after adding two range talents to the gun, it still didn't feel right, and the two fire rate talents didn't seem beneficial for handling long range weapons. Snack could outshoot Klaus a lot faster, and with a lot better view and range. F8 encountered the same issue, and despite my efforts, they just didn't click. I like Lupra, but the reload time with shield killed me and I eventually settled on the Mac pistol, but I am likely going to remove the shield and switch talents. I moved away from AW Sniper and switched to UU10 and recognized the gun's potential with Klaus. I went from long range to short, and speaking of that, his sixth talent gives him the ability to move quickly with the shield. It helps in close range because Klaus already moves around quickly when near enemies, so with this talent, he gets extra movement but only up close. His other 6th talent is most likely used more often. This one gives him minus 60% fire damage, gas damage, and some more. I'll most likely put down the shield and switch to this talent, but I have been enjoying the lack of deaths from snipers and SMGs. It's just not today's game to use a shield. For the 10th talent, I'm using Kevlar armor. This is the one that helps him stay alive longer in an up-close battle. It literally took 5 UU10 shots here to kill my Klaus. And as we know, 
Two XL20 shots aren't enough to kill him either. This talent works only for close range fights, so he could die easily from snipers or assault rifles. His other 10th talent that I love is the one that lets Klaus kill anyone with melee. This could be any sort of melee from knives to injectors. It lets you take down any operator's health unless they have added health such as Syndrome or Moses. Sadly, I found this a little bit difficult to use since close combat is weak without the other 10th talent. So I tried another trick, I tried to use the shield with injector. This way I could help heal my team as well as use the injector to melee swipe people while the shield is a source of defense. Which I assume could come useful in control maps. I noticed that the melee from injector does not swipe kill anyone when it's behind a shield. This makes me wonder if this whole thing with being able to swipe kill using an injector is a bug. No matter how many times it tried, it just did not seem to help. So at the end, the shield had failed me yet again. I believe that's all I have for you all. Klaus is really fun at close range fights, but on open spaces and long range he will struggle. This guy can run up on Moses and come out victorious. As long as it's a close range fight, there's a chance that he can actually survive most battles if you play it right. I hope you guys enjoy, shout out to all of you who support the channel. Honestly there isn't a way I can thank you all enough. You guys are truly awesome. Let's be like Klaus and get in a closer fight with YouTube BS algorithm and let's fight back to fix it by liking, subscribing, sharing and even leave a comment. Thank you all, and enjoy the rest of the video.